second half that we definitely want to clean up. But, um, you know, Georgetown's a dangerous team. You know, they've come back on a lot of teams that had leads on them. Um, and, you know, I thought our guys did a good job taking care of the ball. Shaka, you sometimes say that all baskets aren't created equal. So, like, when, when Cam comes in and he's feeling like he, like he was in the first half, how much does that rub off on the, the rest of the team? You know, it's like, you, like you mentioned, the ball seemed to be popping around. The offense was humming in the first Rums half. Rubs off on me. I love that guy. He just – he gives me a lot of confidence, you know, just seeing him. I, every time he shoots, I think it's going in. And one of the things we got to work on is he doesn't necessarily know the difference between – a three at the line and a three at half court because he's so confident. But, um, you know, he was somewhere in between on a lot of those shots. And, you know, what he did tonight, he's, he's just very capable of doing that. Uh, he's capable of doing even more than that. So um, happy for him the way that he attacked and how aggressive he was. Um, and it, you're right, it gives our team a lot of confidence to, just to know that they've got someone out there like that that can shoot the ball. One of the best, you know, statistics for us tonight was that he and Greg shot 18 threes uh, between the two of them. So if those guys can get 18 good looks, or I think 16 or 17 of them were good looks, um, that's going to be good for our offense. Yeah, along the same lines, I think Cam took that heat check 25 footer and he came out of the game. You guys seemed to share a little moment when he when he exited the game, but can you take us through what? I don't think it was 25 feet. It was more like 30 feet. Um, again, he doesn't always know the difference between, especially if he's made one. Like, he thinks if he's made one that he's on a on a heater. Um, so, obviously, he, after making a few there, he definitely was feeling it. Um, but, you know, I had told him the time out before, take just take good shots. Keep taking good shots. And uh, he didn't really admit that that wasn't a good shot. He just said the ball slipped out of his hands. Um, so he came over and, and, and we talked about it. But I, the thing about Cam that I appreciate is, and, and he gets this from his dad, who you know, who has a military background, and, and his mom, who is a phenomenal mom. The guy's receptive, you know. So when we talk, he looks you in the eye. Uh, he wants to learn. He wants to communicate. And I don't take that for granted because uh, not all players are like that. Uh, the previous few games, Kolek was you know, kind of taking more shots, not getting the same kind of assist numbers. But tonight, season high 11. Do you think your offense is at its best when he's playing more of a pass-first style? Uh, absolutely. But, uh, you know, him shooting or passing is more predicated on the other team's defense. Um, so, you know, we've had games this year where teams have said, hey, we're not going to help at all off of him. Uh, so it's been tougher for him to get the big assist numbers. Uh, tonight, you know, playing against Georgetown, uh, we were able to get two guys on the ball and pick and roll. And, you know, when we do that, he's as good as anybody at passing. Um, but absolutely, you're right. I mean, if, if we can get him creating for other guys and finding teammates like he did uh, tonight, and not just on pick and roll. I thought he did a good job just driving the ball and creating some, some opportunities. And then our guys made some good extra passes. Shaka, I think we kind of all understand what your identity is on the defensive side of the ball, but how are you seeing the identity evolve on offense? Do you want to be more of a shooting team like we saw tonight, or do you pride yourself on kind of in the paint type of points? Both. Yeah, we want to be both. Uh, we want to share the ball. We want to pass. Uh, we want to play with pace so that we can get the ball ahead of the defense. Uh, any good team is going to score in the paint some, and they're going to score from outside some. Uh, we've shot the ball well ever since we started conference play. I think I think we're leading the Big East in, in outside shooting, uh, in league play at least. Uh, but we definitely we want to get the ball in the paint as well. I thought tonight we got a little three-point happy. Um, you know, we made a decent amount of them. Then we had a stretch there mid-second half where we missed a bunch of threes. But they were good looks. Um, you know, if you want to – shoot a good percentage and you got to live with your guys when when they do miss sometimes um, so it's a it's a fine line but you know we just most importantly on offense we want to play with violence we want to share the ball we want to get in the paint uh, we want to play for each other Shaka during your press conference uh, when you were introduced you 
said it was it meant a lot for you to be at Doc Rivers School tonight. He was at the game. Did you know that he was going to be here um, yeah. to have a conversation? What's it like to have him here tonight? Yeah, he talked to the team before the game. Um, we talked. Uh, first of all, he's always been someone that I've looked up to. Uh, I had the good fortune of getting to know him when I was a young assistant coach at University of Florida. I recruited Austin, one of his sons, and um, Coach. He's always been really nice to me. You know, he's always uh, made time for me. And then when I got the job here. Uh, we were able to spend some time together. They had a game here in April of last year, and uh, we had dinner, and, and he said, hey, anything I can do. I love Marquette, and I couldn't be happier uh, with you being at Marquette. And, you know, he's just been real supportive. I try not to bother him too much, um, but there's only one Doc Rivers, uh, one of the best players to ever play here, and an NBA championship coach. Uh, so we talked a couple weeks ago when we were in Philly to play Villanova, and I looked at the schedule and you know saw that they were going to be here, and I said, "Hey, would you mind coming and talking to the guys before the game?" And, and he was awesome. You mentioned before how Kerr can get down when he feels like he's disappointed his teammates, right? Coming off not his best performance against Butler, how did you see him the last couple of days leading up to this one, where you know he goes seven for seven? He really responded well. You know, he he, he didn't play particularly well in either game last week. And Kerr is very self-aware, almost too much. His humility level is, is off the charts. Um, sometimes you wish he, he, he wasn't so, uh, didn't, didn't get so down on himself, but you know, he was upset about how he played. He's the one that came up with the theme for the game today, which was domino. Um, you know, he, he just said, hey guys, we gotta have more positive dominoes for our team. And obviously the way he finished uh, the way he blocked shots and changed shots uh, was, a, was a huge domino for us. Uh, with Omax, you know, his numbers don't always seem to, to jump out of the box score, but with his activity level and the, the top of the press and everything, just what's he given you these last couple of weeks? He gives us a lot of versatility, does a really good job on defense. Uh, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I would say, Ben, in our last 12 games, He's been in the gold, which is uh, kind of our standard for points allowed per minute. I would say at least 10 times, maybe 11 times, which basically means he did a phenomenal job on his matchup. And then from there, uh, like you said, at the front of the press, he sets a tone for us. Uh, he always guards one of the other team's best players. And, you know, his uh, athleticism uh, is, is something that I think he's, he's getting better and better at taking advantage of on offense. You saw that with the dunk he had today. Thank you.